when you first come home, you just don't know how to react. You don't know how you're going to be treated by your friends, your family, loved ones. It's been one hell of a journey, and this is how I got here. I honestly believe that something was gonna happen. I didn't know what, but something. Something that would alter my life one way or the other. You know, going over there and being a war hero and coming back. Like you see in the Hollywood movies, all the guys with the medals on their chests and whatever. It's just, it was something I always wanted to do. I can't speak for the other guys, but for me personally, I don't think I'm a hero. Heroes get sent home in a wooden box with the medals pinned on the top of the lid. It's August, and 12 of us newly injured veterans, along with an entourage of doctors and volunteers, had been given the chance to raft down the Grand Canyon. This trip is aimed to help us in our recoveries. And for me, it's the first time out of the hospital. Originally, I asked to bring my father. Um, we became really close, especially since the uh, accident. But um, we couldn't come. The trip was packed up. Now, I'm, a, I'm a little nervous, you know, because a lot of guys here I don't know. Uh, most of the guys have been here for several months now. They've all gone to therapy together and stuff like that. I'm, fairly new since my injury was only you know a couple months ago so I'm just hoping that a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds can actually mesh as a team and make it happen so we'll see what happens. By chance you do happen to fall off the boat. On this trip is the four raft crew, eight support crew and 12 of us veterans. All of us come from different backgrounds, different situations, different injuries. I think Manny and Domingo have been close friends for a while now. Then there's Jason. He's the only guy here with a major brain injury. Joey Bozick and Brian Anderson are both triple amputees. Then there's me. For the next eight days, we're gonna be boating down the Colorado River from Lee's Ferry to Diamond Creek. The trip is supposed to take us eight days. Once we're on the river, there's no getting out of the canyon and no contact with civilization. We're just on our own. There's a cable going across the river right in front of us. This marks mile zero, so everything from here on down is starting with one. So we got 226 miles to go. <laughs> I've always tried to be a guy that helped out, you know, got involved in everything that's going on and make sure everybody's happy and comfortable. And, you know, even when they're just unloading the boats and I'm just sitting in my wheelchair watching everybody working and laughing and giggling, it almost hurts. But it's something I have to do with. And it's something that everybody else understands. But, you know, in the real world, all you really do is get stares and, you know, people think you're some sort of freak or, you know, whatever, they just don't understand. You know, CNN and the media might tell all the stories they want to tell them, you know, on TV, but nobody really knows the darker side of combat. And the darker side of that combat going over in Iraq right now is the walking proof going around here. No sense in crying over spilt milk, I guess, as the saying always goes. <laughs>